Welcome back to San Antonio Living. If you've got some unused medication that's sitting in your medicine cabinet, we always ask you to dispose of it. But you've got to know how to properly dispose of that medicine. And why is it important to dispose of it the right way? Well, joining us to tell us more is Claude Dance. He's with Sharps Compliance. It's very good to meet you. Thanks for coming today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. I am in that situation. I've got old medication in the cabinet, and it just sits there because I'm not real sure what to do with it. Right. So, and this is a problem that a lot of people are facing. And I think the first time I heard people flushing things down the toilet, I immediately went, oh, that's a real bad idea. But for people who don't know, why is it that we shouldn't do that? Well, inevitably, that's going to end up in our, our water systems, right. our streams. And we, we, we know we have some problems with some fish in, 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 in the oceans and, and rivers and lakes now. So there's better alternatives out here that, uh, that we provide. It can even cause an overdose for, for animals who get into that water supply, even little babies and things like that. So you really have to be careful what you're flushing down the toilet. So how big of a problem is unused medication and, and what to do with it? Well, there's approximately 4 billion prescriptions that are filled every year. Okay. And there's estimates that up to 35 to 40 percent of those go unused. So that generates on an annual basis almost 200 million pounds of medications that are wow. in medicine cabinets that are there for improper use or are being used uh, inappropriately or disposed of inappropriately. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to keep them in your medicine cabinet because if you've got children, you don't want to have those kinds of things available to them. If you've got older parents, you don't sure. want to leave them out in case there's some sort of confusion. So you do need to dispose of your medicine, your unused medicine. So tell me a little bit about the program that you guys are, are a part of. Well, we started a program several years ago and it started with the National Community Pharmacy Association, okay. NCPA. And that was a program throughout the country where you could go into your local pharmacy and interact with the pharmacist to talk about the medication and the importance of maybe I had a problem with the, the prescription and mm -hmm. uh, there's an opportunity to say if there was a, a, some type of an adverse reaction, then perhaps I could get the prescription changed by interacting with the pharmacist. Mm -hmm. But at the, inevitably, though, uh, the pharmacy then could provide one of these systems to say, uh, put the medication in this, it goes to the U.S. Postal Service to where we receive it at our plant where it's uh, securely handled and processed. Okay, so now should we be taking our unused medicines to our pharmacist? We should take the medic medicines to the pharmacist to talk about the medication itself okay. and then hopefully what they'll do is in, in participating pharmacies, I think we have actually a dozen of them within uh, about five miles of even your station here, okay. uh, they'll provide one of these envelope systems to where in the privacy of their own home they can put the medications in here and simply provide them to the U.S. Postal Service. Very cool. So the, the envelope, the, the program's called Takeaway and your pharmacist will give you something that looks like this. You can take the envelope home, put your unused medication in here and you ship this, drop it right in the mail, postage is paid for, you're good to go. Now what happens to the medicine once you guys get a hold of it? it, it when it comes into our facility, it's actually taken, uh, the police department takes possession of it within our facility. Okay. They scan it, they don't open the materials, but they scan it into a storage system and then they uh, do witness treatment of that by incineration to make sure it's completely never going to be exposed into the ecosystem again. Okay, so this is the proper way to get rid of medications. Easy to do. What, what kind of medication should we be getting rid of? When you open up your medicine cabinet, obviously prescription drugs, but what sure. else? Well, it can also handle over-the-counter medication. Okay. So if you have an expired, even if it's an aspirin or something like that, again, the, the strength of these things can change, so it's important to safely handle those. Uh, it, it doesn't handle controlled medications at this juncture. The, the DEA is looking at maybe changing those rules further down the road. Mm -hmm. But let's say it's an antibiotic that's now been expired for a number of years. Those are the kinds of things that should be coming back. If it's an active prescription, let's say it's a blood pressure medication, then that's that chance to talk to the pharmacist about why aren't you taking that drug. Right. And so that, that's, that's, that's the way the system is designed. And how's the participation going with, with the takeaway? It's, it's terrific. We have 22,000 pharmacies throughout the country now that are participating in wow. this program. They range from the independents that may be on your street corner to the national chains such as Walgreens. Okay. This is such good information because the last thing you want to do is flush it, put it in your garbage can because you just really know never know who's going to get a hold of what can be very dangerous substance. Exactly. Okay, so if you're at home, you're watching this morning, you've got some of these medicines that we just mm -hmm. talked about in your medicine cabinet, take them to your pharmacist, talk to your pharmacist, they will hand you one of these envelopes and you can send them back. Thank you so much for coming today. Thanks for having us. I do want to let you know where the participating pharmacies are here in the San Antonio area.
area. Your local Walgreens can help you. Also, Carvajal's Pharmacy in San Antonio. You can go to Walgreens.com for more information or Sharps. Inc. Inc. com. Sharpsinc.com for more details on that. All right, coming up next on San.